This week, the Metropolitan Opera here in New York City kicked off its new season with a historic premiere. For the first time, a black composer was on the stage, and we got to talk to him about this historic moment. In New York City this week, the excitement reached a crescendo even before the first note was sung. From Times Square to Lincoln Square and far beyond, New York's Metropolitan Opera is ushering in a new season with a watershed moment in its 138-year history. Oscar nominee... And six-time Grammy winner Terrence Blanchard is no stranger to success. If you've seen any of Spike Lee's movies, from Malcolm X to The Five Bloods, I've been wanting to talk to you. You've heard his music, but this week he's making history as the first black composer to be presented by the Met. How did you find out the news that you're going to be the first? Well, I got a call from Peter Gelb, and he asked me to bring the opera here. Sing this opera. He composed the score for the opera, adopted from Charles Blow's Fire Shut Up In My Bones. I am what I am. The trumpeter's excitement to compose for the Met Opera wasn't just a personal accomplishment, it is a shared success for those who had the talent but simply lacked the opportunity. William Grant still actually approached the Met to have one of his pieces performed. And there were some very nasty letters written to the Met about why this dilettante should not have his piece premiered at the Met. And Howard Swanson, these are people who were really great composers, black composers, who never really got the opportunity to have their work done on a major stage. And we have to take this moment seriously. And the beautiful thing about all of this, I have to tell you, is that everybody in this production has taken ownership of this piece. Between church and his childhood home, music was always a part of his life. But it is his father he credits with introducing him to the world of classical music. What do you think dad's reaction from above is about where you are right now? He's up there telling me I told you so. Because <laughs> he wanted me to be a classical musician when I was a kid. I heard opera as a kid growing up, you know, never imagining that I would be in this place, in my, this moment in my time. Blanchard's history-making achievement came about in the wake of the racial unrest in this country that erupted in the streets in last year's summer of protests. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! George Floyd has had a huge effect on this entire moment that we're talking about. And unfortunately, we owe him a debt of gratitude. That video opened up a lot of hearts and minds because a lot of people started to realize, no, there has to be some change in this country. We have to start dealing with people on the basis of their abilities, you know, not just who they are. And of course, Black Lives Matter, George Floyd, it's the reason why we're here. And it's the reason why we have to make sure that in this moment, we don't let anybody down. In this moment, we have to stand tall and let everybody know what we're capable of. Blanchard has long taken the real-life pain and joy of the black community and translated it into music. How different is it to compose for a movie soundtrack versus a live stage performance? It's a lot of detailed work because the other issue, too, is that no soprano is the same, no baritone is the same. So you have to learn these voices and you have to understand how these voices operate and bloom in certain registers to get a certain desired effect when creating the music for this opera. Tell a story, but make sure that all of the elements come together to tell a story, not just the words. He says Blow's memoir of a young black boy in the Louisiana South overcoming a traumatic childhood is told on stage in a way that transcends race. Being the first black musical composer for the Met, mm -hmm. do you feel like this will widen up the audience for opera? I know that when we started rehearsal, some of the people in the cast were talking about how they wanted their family to come see this because they know these characters. So hopefully it will widen the audience. We're trying to create something that's relevant, meaningful to a lot of people. 
And the thing that I've been telling my friends who are not opera buffs, I'm like, don't think of opera. I said, this is the highest form of musical theater you can ever experience. But Blanchard says he wants to be a turnkey, not a token. And despite his barrier-breaking achievements, he says that's still not enough. I think it's time for people to understand that there are more stories to be told. Women should have the opportunity to write. There's people from other races that should have the opportunity to tell their stories. This is a global community. You know, we keep talking about the United States being a melting pot. We have to put our money where our mouth is and, and really open up these doors for everybody to have an opportunity. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.